excerpt was taken from the Full and Bloom interview with Don Dockin. You can listen to the entire interview at fullandbloom.com. Any idea what that album ended up costing? Just a nail? Yeah. Um, no, probably a quarter of a million. Looked like you guys were on the verge of losing your deal after breaking yeah. the chains. They wanted to drop us. Look, we did an arena tour. They gave it their best shot. We toured arenas with Bloister Colt and y and you know, we had we had our shot, and the song "Breaking the Chains" was on every radio station. And what they called it back in the day was a passive hit. Everybody would say, "Oh, I love that song," but they didn't buy the record. So we get off the road after eight months, busting our ass. And we come home, the record company goes, "Well, guys, you sold a hundred thousand, and that's not really worth all the money we invested in you to keep you on the label." And I basically just begged and pleaded, "Give us one more shot." I went and had a meeting over Tom Zutat and everybody, and said, "Let us just." to actually be more aggressive with your voice on Tooth and Nail? Was that like a conscious decision? No. It was just kind of how the songs were turning out? Yep. It's okay. just the way the songs were written and I had to sing appropriately. Tooth. 